Hi everyone, Vacha here from RecordingStudio9.com and thanks for joining again. Have you ever wondered how you could collaborate with other musicians all around the world when you're recording a song, so that each musician will be able to record their part onto the track and finally come together and the person in charge of the project will be able to mix all the recorded tracks and have the song? Well, I will show you how you can do it using a free Dropbox account. I currently have my laptop set up with a new song that we are collaborating together, myself and Chad from Your Home Recording Studio. I'm in Sydney, Australia. He's in Kansas, USA. And we're going to be collaborating and recording my next song. So while we're doing that, I'm going to show you how to do it. So without any further delay, let's get onto my laptop and I'll demonstrate it to you. If you don't know about Dropbox, the first thing to do is go to dropbox.com, follow the instructions so that you can create your own free Dropbox account. Once you have created your Dropbox account, you need to download the software which will run in the background on your PC or your MacBook Pro or, or iMac and so on. And when it runs in the background, you're basically running right there. That's the icon that's running. And what that does it, uh, it creates its special folder on your computer that whatever file you copy onto that folder let's have a quick look like here to my Dropbox any file and folders I create here will automatically appear on the cloud so as you can see this folder here is the same as this one so are these two files and that's just a file that is put there by Dropbox to know what to do and to keep things in sync basically so if I do change this file or this file or drag another file once it's the change is detected it will automatically upload to the Dropbox cloud and then if you have another computer maybe your work computer or in my example let's say your friend's computer who have their own Dropbox account then you'll be able to share those files between each other. To learn more about Dropbox probably a good idea to visit dropbox.com and follow the instructions. In this example I assume that you already know and have created your free Dropbox account. Now one thing we need to make sure to do before we can create any new project and start synchronizing and then sharing that uh, folder with our collaborative partners is we need to make sure that Dropbox synchronization is paused. Now at most of the times it will be up and going, it will say up to date. But what we need to make sure and this is quite important is to click and pause it. As you can see, syncing is paused until we click and resume syncing again. So that when we cre while we're creating and editing and changing any of the files, we don't want Dropbox to keep updating to the cloud and using up our bandwidth. And you know, a lot of times we'll be making mistakes. We need to delete those files and restart again. So we really don't want that traffic uh, going up and down. So once we pause it, that means we can create, do everything. And once we're happy and we finish with it, we can click again and resume synchronization and then let it synchronize and everything will be uploaded to the cloud. Let's assume that you've actually decided that you want to record a song and you want to collaborate with other people to have the input on the song and you are in charge of the project. When you create a project, one, what you need to do, let's say create a new song, what you must make sure is that once you enter the title, let's say my new, new demo song, the next thing you need to make sure 
is you click on these arrows to open up the browse and then instead of saving normally under document studio one songs what you need to do is go into your dropbox and then you can certainly create a new folder and let's call this my demo song that's where you want it select the folder so now we know that's where it is so here is a project that Chad and I are working together. We're just uh, recording it. I've written the lyrics and the musical arrangement and so on and recorded several tracks here. And Chad will be adding his own part by playing a few guitars and possibly a live drum addition to it to make it more dynamic and so on. Actually, I should make sure that um, I go back into pausing the synchronization. So now synchronization is paused, which is great. So now I can go ahead and start working on the song. And there's certain parts that I'll be editing. I've just recorded before making this video uh, a very brief vocal. So Chad knows where the song parts are, where to come in and where to go out. Very simple one. And uh, yeah, and so I could be editing this. And once I finish uh, editing, and save it and close it and I'll be re-enabling the synchronization so any changes I've done will be uploaded to the cloud and because on the cloud let's have a look at the cloud and uh, sidewalk love let's go one more up this is already and shared as you can see I can click share and it's already shared by Chad and me and if you want if we want to add another person we can certainly add an email and a third person can join in as well so as soon as my synchronization is finished he'll get an email from Dropbox saying that hey Vache just finished off working on uh, sidewalk love and all the files are updated now it's your turn to actually go ahead and start adding your bit in. So it's that really simple. So uh, let's have a quick listen. I should let you have a listen of our next song, which we're gonna work together and release this song together. Let's have a quick listen. Before we go ahead, <laughs> I should mention that uh, I have just done the gain staging. The, as you can see, the faders are still all at the top. So there's no real mixing done yet. There's nothing. Um, I don't think I even um, added any. No, I've not, no inserts on anything at the moment. So it's just rough recorded um, song. So uh, the only, I think the one there is, is just the, um, my vocal track. No, doesn't matter. Let's have a quick listen. Hope you like it. Okay, so that's it. That's all you're gonna hear for now. So I hope you like the song. I've written the lyrics and the arrangement and the song, so Chad will make it even better. So just to summarize what I've shown you there is that I created a Dropbox account. If you don't have one, you create one and you download the Dropbox app that runs in the background in your PC or on your Mac. And then what you need to do is Pause the synchronization so it's no longer updating any file from your PC to the cloud. Then you create or you copy the project file into the Dropbox folder and then you do all your editing, whatever you need to do. If you're creating, so you start creating and do all the work 
And then once you've finished, you save and you close your application. In my case, it was Persona Studio One, but it could be any other DAW. It could be Reaper, it could be Pro Tools, Cubase, um, and, and so on. So any project that you've got, once you finish, you save and close your application and then enable back the synchronization and you wait so that all the files that have been changed are uploaded to the cloud. One thing I should mention that especially with uh, Studio One or pretty much in every other DAW is find the option that says remove unused files. That will allow any file that uh, is no longer used, let's say you recorded something and it wasn't correct, wasn't right, you deleted it and re recorded again, those files are still kept. So by clicking remove unused files, that will remove, physically delete all those files, just so that you're not uploading all those junk files up to the cloud, so it's nice and clean. And once you've done synchronization, then you tell your other partner who's collaborating with the song, the files are up and ready to go. And he'll do the same thing. And then next time I will show you how to share your Dropbox folder with your collaborative partner so they have access to those files and be able to download and put their bid in. Well, I hope that was helpful for you. If it was, please make sure to give me the thumbs up and you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. That way you'll be notified as soon as I upload the follow-up video on this topic. And as always, have a great time making music and till next time, cheerio.